Hey there, Coach Devin here. I am super pumped today. I'm going to go run a 5K. I haven't run a 5K in a while, uh, and I'm doing it actually for a very good reason, not just for fun. This is what I'm about to do. Before we get going, please hit the like and subscribe down below, and please share this with your friends. I make these videos because uh, I enjoy everything about fitness, and it's my opportunity to give back. I've been in this industry for 26, almost 27 years now, so please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. So like I said, I am running a 5K today, ASEX was kind enough to send me all this gear. I'm going to put all this gear on, and I'm about to run a 5K today. First 5K since I got sick back at the beginning of COVID with a staph infection in my back. This actually is going to be for an advertisement for ASEX. And basically how it's going to work is I am going to get some pictures and some video, and then I'm going to run a 5K. Uh, this is like a, a 5K relay across the country. I was the person picked for Nova Scotia, so I'm super pumped. Thank you, ASEX, for that. And Kaylin and I are about to go get some pictures. i got to get geared up. All right, I am geared up from feet, leggings, shorts. I mean, you name it, I am geared ASEX-wise. About to go get this on. All right, my daughter Kaylin and I, uh, Kaylin has been kind enough to come along and do the pictures and the video for me. We are on top of Citadel Hill. Uh, we're going to get some pictures and some video for ASEX right about now. You ready, Kay? Yeah. Hey there, Coach Devin here from 360 Fit. I am in beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia on top of Citadel Hill. It is an amazing day. Even though it's November, it's still warm here. I'm about to run a 5K for ASEX. We're about to get it on. So we are all done, right, Kay? How was that? Did we do a lot of those? Yes. Did I screw up a bunch of them? Yeah. <laughs> I screwed up a bunch. We're actually going to go run now. Now that we've done our pictures and we've taken video, now I have to go run. Are you coming with me? No? no? <laughs> All right. So this is the big hill on Citadel Hill. My original thought for my 5K, which was actually a terrible idea, was I would run up and down that hill repeatedly until I hit 5K. <laughs> this is an awful idea. For some reason, I thought it would be amazing, and I'm like, that will be so smart. And then I realized that it's probably a dumb idea, so I'm not doing it. I will definitely burn out. So here I go. I am about to go run a 5K. It's been a long time since I ran a 5K. Uh, it's actually been, yeah, how long has it been? Uh, since I got sick right at the beginning of COVID, I got a staph infection in my back, and I haven't run since before then. So, uh, not any distance anyway. So it's gonna be tough. Uh, right before I left, my fiance, Dev, said that I better not be her 27 and a half minute because she just started running again. Uh, she just ran a 27 and a half minute 5K, so she doesn't want me to win. So now I have to try to beat that. Oh, uh, shoot. I don't know how well it's gonna go. We're gonna see in a minute. All right, I am about to get this on. The goal is under 27 and a half so I can beat Dev. That's my, that's my whole goal right now. Uh, to try to pace out early and not go too fast. I'm actually a little nervous, I gotta tell you. Holy God, I'm halfway through. I'm hurting. This is tough. I haven't run a long time. It's rough. I need a little walk there in the center to get a little more air in me. See how the second half goes. All right, this is my third walk. I'm completely out of gas. I have a kilometer left to go. Back is super tight. Just tired overall. This is hard. I've been running a long time. All right, I'm done. My goal on that was, I said, 27 and a half, but really, I was hoping to get under 30 because I, shoot, oh, my back is killing me. 241 pounds now. Last time I ran fast, it was a little lighter than that. So, thusly, it's a hell of a lot harder. So I just was a little over 30 minutes. I must have stopped like six times. First two and a half were good. <laughs> After that, it just, it wrecked me. My back is super sore. And I had some uh, Bambi legs at the end of it. I tell you, serious Bambi legs. All over the place Bambi legs. That was hard. How'd it go? <laughs> Awful. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh, no. You beat me. What was your time? 30 minutes and 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> 
My back is wrecked. I apparently am not built for running That's anymore. That's good still. You haven't run in forever. It's about a year. Good job, Ed. All right, so it's been a couple hours since my run. My legs are sore. And when I say sore, they are they're good sore. <laughs> I am going to be pretty crippled up tomorrow. Uh, it's funny how um, when you don't run for a while and you're as heavy, I've gotten as heavy as I am now. I'm in 241. Uh, I used to be able to, you know, at 218, 220, I could, I could run a 5K in 22 minutes. You can't do it now if you don't do it often. Uh, so it, it was definitely an eye opener for me to realize, you know, I have some work to do. If I want to be able to do some other things besides just lift weights, uh, definitely have some work to do. I think it's, uh, it's about time to put some work in. So uh, I'll have to try some more running, but maybe a little slower next time and uh, try to save my back. Just maybe a little bit. We're having a parody. Right, baby? Yes, we sure are. It's quiet right now. It's actually quiet. You guys sick? The volume went down a lot recently. Thirty-seven year old is just as excited as the eight year old. <laughs> this has been the quietest it's been in our house in a bit. I don't know what's going on actually. It's a little confusing why it's so quiet. Because they're super quiet, but up till now they have been going crazy. Happy birthday, dear Mira. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I found some lives. Don't mind me, I had to go find you. Right there it is Sunday and uh, I've just had a somewhat successful I guess mildly successful uh, trip to get dress clothes dress clothes are to I don't wear a lot of dress clothes uh, but they're very hard for me to find specifically because you know my body just doesn't really work for dress clothes I mean they assume that if you have a your chest and your shoulders are fairly broad like mine are then that means the rest of you is big too, which means I ended up looking like I got a muumuu on. <laughs> so I uh, I managed to find some stuff. God bless things that are stretchy. I got to tell you, the flex clothing is oh man. Without that stuff, I don't even know how I would function in the world. It is uh, it's tough. I mean, I get all my pants are that way now because my butt is just too big. I I feel for anybody who has a hard time getting clothing. I think that uh, clothing manufacturers don't build clothes for people like me. Uh, or most women or a lot of men. They really don't feel clothes for anybody. Uh, anyway, so fortunately I managed to get some clothes. Uh, so it looks like uh, two weeks, well, two weeks from yesterday actually, I'm going to get married. So uh, got to find some clothes that actually fit me, right? Some people have cat in the hat. We have cat in a bag. How about Hendrix? You happy in there? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Every day, any bag. Right, buddy? All right, Sunday supper, I tend to like the same kind of stuff all the time. Uh, I find things that I can make quickly and easily positive. <laughs> Anything that, that's easy, I'm, I'm good with. So what I'm doing tonight is soup, I mean, chicken soup. What it is is shredded chicken, uh, lentils. I love lentils. It helps to fill you up a little extra, and it really, it, you know, it, it adds some extra protein, some good fiber in there, all those good things. A whole bunch of uh, peas and carrots because it's a pretty simple one to put in there. Some uh, some various spices, usually you like Mr. Uh, Mrs. Dash spice, um, and that's about it. You let it simmer for a bit, you let it cook, and then uh, you're good to go. I'll show you here. As you can see, it is just getting to the simmer point right now. So it's actually a pretty, a pretty easy meal to make. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it's something that I can take to work the next day or the next two days uh, with you. So again, a super simple thing that is healthy, good for you, and tastes good, which is, uh, which is always a win. So the question I'm getting a lot today is, how are you feeling after that 5K yesterday? Uh, I, I can't put it any more clearly than that. I had Bambi legs at the end. <laughs> I actually did. First time I've ever had Bambi legs after a run. I thought my knees, they were 
they were going. I thought it was going to go down. Uh, back was killing me today. Uh, neck sore, shoulders are sore. Not quite sure why all that sore, but they are. Legs are sore, hips are sore, calves are sore, feet are sore. Pretty much everything is sore today. I definitely need to uh, to run a little bit more. There's no question about that. A year off has been a long time.